Hey guys, Brett here, and today I'm going to show you how to get started quickly with the Fancy Form system. So the first thing you want to do after you log in is click on the Create New button. Now this is going to bring up a pop-up that's going to ask you to enter a name for your opt-in. The thing to keep in mind here is this name is for your reference only. It has really no relevance on the opt-in itself, and it's just so that you can refer to what this opt-in is for in the dashboard. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Brett's third test and click on the create new button. Once I click on the create new button you can see it has created my opt-in for me but I have to edit it now and create the actual opt-in. So I'm going to go ahead and click the edit button underneath the options section on the right hand side. Now this is going to bring me to the drag and drop editor. Now to start with, I'm going to see my blank opt-in right here, and I'm going to see my generic form. Now I can move the form around and position it the way I want by left-clicking on it and then dragging the mouse around. Also on the right-hand side here, I have several options where I can adjust the form settings. For example, I can make the form's font size bigger or smaller by moving the slider. I can do the same thing with the font input size. I can add button icons. If I want to, I can change the orientation of the form. There's several different options here and that'll totally allow you to customize the way your form looks. I can also customize the way the button looks by changing the fonts, changing the font size, the colors, the padding, you have total control over everything just by adjusting these sliders and using these color pickers here. Now I won't go over every single option just because there's a lot of them and it would make the video quite long. But you can see it is very customizable and all of these options on the right hand side have to do with customizing the form itself or customizing the actual pop-up. This box here is called the pop-up so I can adjust its thickness or its roundness make it transparent, it's fully flexible and I can make it the way I want. Up on the top here you're going to see a couple of drag and drop widgets. Now to use one of these drag and drop widgets what you do is left click on it and then drag it down inside of your opt-in. Once I get it where I want I will let out of the mouse and it's going to bring up the options for that particular widget. So let's just say I want to add some type of clip art. I will just click on it there, click on add clip art and it will add the clip art for me. Then I can move it around and adjust it as I want or I can click on the right, lower right mouse and adjust its size. Using these drag and drop widgets and the options on the right hand side I can fully customize and build my form manually if I choose However, if you're looking to get started quickly, like most people will be, you can go ahead and click on the Templates button, and it will bring up our pre-made templates for you. So I'll just click on the Templates. It's going to warn me that loading a template will override my current work. I'm fine with that, so I'm going to click on OK. And it's going to bring up all of the pre-made templates that we have made. And you can see there are quite a lot of them. They're all professionally done. So I'm just going to pick one that I like the look of. I like that one. And now I have a pre-made form already filled out for me. Now there are some things in here that I'm going to want to customize. For example, I'm probably going to want to customize the text here to my particular product. So I will right click on it and this will bring up the options so that now I can customize the text and change it the way I want. I'll just change my text here and when I'm done I will click update text and it will automatically change inside of my opt-in. When I've gotten everything done and set the way I want it I will click the save button and you can see it has saved my page. The last thing I want to mention is something that you do need to set up even when you're using a template and that is over here on the right hand side under the auto section. So I'm just going to click the auto button and it's going to ask me for my autoresponder. If I'm using an autoresponder, I'm going to select the one that I use. We support currently MailChimp, GetResponse, and AWeber. And then I'm going to enter my appropriate settings in here.
If I'm using, for example, MailChimp, I will enter my MailChimp list ID in here, and I will enter my MailChimp API key in here, and that is what I'll need. If I'm using AWeber, you don't need an API key. All you need to do is enter in your list ID. If I'm using GetResponse, then it's the same as MailChimp, where you enter the list ID and the API key. And if you need any help with setting up the autoresponder, please feel free to contact support. We're always glad to be of assistance. The final option that you're definitely going to want to set up when you're using this system is over here under the pop-up section. It's at the very bottom and that is the redirect URL. Now that's going to ask you where people should go to after they opt into your form. This is important because if you don't enter a redirect URL, they're just going to see a blank page after they opt in. So always enter in some type of redirect URL. And if you're giving away some type of free gift or free download in exchange for the opt-in, this URL would generally be the URL where they can get their free gift. So that's a quick start guide on how to use the Fancy Form system. If you need any help, please go back to your main dashboard right here. Click on the help button and click on contact support. We're always glad to be of assistance whenever we can. Thank you and enjoy.